Welcome back to MMA Wizards today, we have a tier list video for you guys so let's just dive straight into it. This is a comparison style breakdown, so don't take this as hate towards a fighter. Everyone on this list deserves their credit. First up is the flyweight champion Alexa Grasso. With her last of fights being against Shevchenko and drawing her in the second she definitely deserves to be on this list. It may be D tier due to the draw, but nonetheless she is still deserving. And now at C tier one step above is Jung Wiley the strawweight champ. Wiley is on her second title run, and this year she beat top contender Taylor Santos. We think she goes at C tier because strawweight is a more competitive division than flyweight. And the skill set in general puts Wiley above Grasso, let us know what you think. Now we move up to B tier. This will feature a few fighters first beginning with Sean O'Malley. Beating Aljo the way that he did definitely puts him at B tier but no higher. With only 2 wins against top 10 fighters, it's hard to put him anywhere else. A solid B tier rating seems right for Sean. Now for a heavyweight interim champion we go to Tom Aspinall. Against Sergei Pavlovich Tom swiftly knocked him out in a matter of minutes. This puts him at high B tier above O'Malley and puts him one step closer to being the heavyweight champion of the world. If Tom were to beat John Jones it would be safe to put him at S tier, but only time will tell. That's it for B tier now let's move to A, tier where most of the top fighters will be. We have to be honest now, John Jones is going at lower tier for the simply fact that he has only one win in the last few years. Sure he beat Cyril Gain impressively, but that isn't enough to put the GOAT at S tier for this year. There is still a guy who is more deserving of the S tier spot. We will get to that later, but John Jones definitely belongs in the A tier category. Next up is men's flyweight world champion Alexander Pantoja. Pantoja has been a workhorse of a man and an even better champion than others lower on this list. While he doesn't get the credit he deserves we still think he deserves the spot. Impressive wins over Moreno and now Royville puts him over John Jones just due to activity and levels of competitiveness at flyweight. Leon Edwards goes just above this as is to wins over Kamaru Usman age perfectly. And his overall well-roundedness put him slightly above the last two. Now before you click off the video let's explain why. Obviously Leon's lackluster performance against Colby will have fans angry at this position. But he belongs this high up also because of his win streak. Leon has yet to be beaten with his last loss being to Kamaru Usman in their first bout. If he had a slightly worse record it would be appropriate to put him at B tier, but for now he's sticking at A. Next we go up to middleweight with the new champion Sean Strickland. His masterclass performance against Izzy puts him high on this list. Not as good obviously, but this win reminds me of Cody Garbrandt's win against Dominic Cruz. A true striking clinic which saw Izzy loosing for rounds of the fight. He definitely has one of the best wins on this list of any fighter, and we can't wait to see where he goes from here. Now ending this tier is the lightweight champion Islam Makachev. He did his thing against Volkanovski in the first fight, and in the second fight knocked him out. These two fights put Islam very highly on the scale. I'm sure most would agree with this rating seeing as Volkanovski was a pound-for-pound -pound contender, also he had beaten everyone at featherweight setting up the super fight against Islam. With Islam coming out on top we have to put him at A tier. And now we must choose the perfect fighter for S tier. The only pick who seems right is Alex Pereira. The man who accomplished double champ status and beat Izzy three times is surely a top fighter on this list. If we're talking about who accomplished most in 2023 then it has to be Alex Pereira. When you combine his kickboxing record to his MMA record this guy sticks out as a very top level combatant. Fans cannot deny this man anymore and he needs to be recognized for being one of the best MMA fighters right now. He is not just a kickboxer he is a kickboxer who adjusted perfectly to MMA rules. We can talk all day about how Pereira is powerful, but the thing most casuals fail to recognize is his craftiness and fight IQ when he's in there against the best. But nonetheless let's give credit where credit is due. If Makachev were to become a double champ this year, he could probably join S tier as well. But that's gonna be it for the video today let us know what you guys think about our rankings and make sure to like the video if you made it this far. We have amazing content planned for 2024 and we hope you guys will enjoy the show as always. Much improved content is coming and we can't wait to showcase what we have in store. Have a happy new year and stay tuned as we roll out this new content. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to follow our socials when you get the chance.